Hello, sports fan. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with opening day of the Stratomatic baseball season based on the players that the teams actually have right now. And um, we're going to do our own little version of Major League Baseball with the Stratomatic game. So let's uh, get started here. We're going to do, let's see, we go up to the schedule. And here is opening day. And I can pick whoever I want to pitch for Chicago. It'll probably be Giolito. But I took the pitchers, like for all of these, you can see there's a, ma <clears throat> a matchup. And that's because I have all the pitchers in the pitcher today matchups screens for all the teams and i did for chicago as well when i did the quick sims to base the uh the prediction records on but since i knew i would be taking chicago through the season i went in and i deleted all the pitchers from chicago's pitcher today matchups so that i would have the option each and every game of deciding who pitches that game based on any number of factors. So we will, without further ado, get to it. And you can see what the scores here were. And then we got Minnesota at Chicago. Manual, and yes, Giolito will be my pitcher. He will be controlling uh the computer will be controlling minnesota and uh that pretty much looks like the lineup i'm going to want so i don't see any reason let's see we're going to turn the sound down i don't see any reason not to get started all righty here we go playing the uh, division favorite, Minnesota Twins, and Giolito walks Kepler to lead off the game. And up steps Polanco, and he strikes him out. And then we've got Josh Donaldson, and who he walks. I don't know. That said he was supposed to walk. Oh, yeah, he probably will after this. All right, so two runners on, one out. Nelson Cruz up, the very dangerous Nelson Cruz, and he strikes out right between a home run and a single. That's pretty sweet. And now Garver. Almost want to walk him, too, but he gets hit by a pitch and injured. Fifteen days. Yeah, goodbye, Garver. So now we got Eddie Rosario up. And he's going to hit it to Timmy Anderson. And that's going to be, uh, yeah, he made the play. So Tim Anderson's leading off against Barrios for them and he missed just missed a single had a great chance it was a single one to 16 but he missed it lewis robert up uh we're gonna swing away with lewis robert catch card x and he's out and mancada is up and we're gonna swing away with mancada and he gets a single one and just misses that so it's 0 0 after one. We go to the top of the second. Sano up the plate. Home run 1 to 11, and he does get it. Gone. One nothing Minnesota on the uh, Sano homer. And now Luis Arreyes is up. And he's out. Byron Buxton is up. 
Fly ball to left, and that's going to be Jimenez. The poor fielding Jimenez. And he can't hang on to it. Yeah, that figures. 80% we're going to... We're going to hold him. Oh, no, I guess we were holding him. All right. So that's 80% anyway. Let's throw just to see if we can get him. We can't. Kepler up with one out. Man at second. Hits the ball to second, and that's Mendick. Two down. I mean, the big the big problem with this team is going to be in real life and in Stratomatic is going to be their defense with the White Sox, I'm saying. So Josh Donaldson is up, and he gets a single one, but that's an out, and so they're out of the inning. And Giolito just gives up the one run on the uh, home run by Sano, and Encarnacion comes up with a swing right with him. And uh, he's out. And that brings up Jose Abreu. Great lineup, but they are going to be a little, a little on the uh, not so great side defensively. And that's going to be a double for Abreu. So he's at second with one out and Grandall up, and he walks. And that brings up Jimenez, who couldn't hang on to that ball, and he strikes out. And that brings up Mazzara. And he gets a home run one to nine double. Nice. That'll be at least the tie. And, and that's probably all it's going to be. Yeah, we're going to hold uh, hold all runners. So, 1-1. One, one. Mendick up in a key situation here for us. And he gets a single. He rips a single. That's going to be a two-run single, I think. Let's see. Um, no, not necessarily. And no, it won't be. Um, although, I'm going to hold. And that brings up Tim Anderson. That's why. And he singles. So now we're ahead 3-1. Uh, and I am going to hold. And that brings up Lewis Robert. And he strikes out. So we take the lead. And we got Giolito on the mound. I like that. I like that combo. Ground ball, second base out. For Cruz. Up steps Avila, who came in for the injured um, Garver. And we know he's not really 85%, so we're going to... Well, there's a single. Giolito. Uh-oh, and here comes Sano, the guy who hit the home run, but he strikes out this time. So, with two outs, two on, and a race up, they... In a race lines out, so we're out of the inning. That brings up Moncada. We're going to swing away, and he gets a fly ball to center field. And that brings up Encarnacion, and he's going to swing away. And he strikes out. And that brings up Abreu, who's one for one with a double on the day. Hitting 1,000 on the year, but now he's hitting 500. So that brings up Byron Buxton. And he strikes out. And Max Kepler is up. And he's going to ground out, hopefully. Nope. So, Buckster, uh, Kepler is aboard. 
with Polanco up and one out. And there's a ground ball double play. Pitcher's best friend. Now Grandall is up for us. We're going to swing away with him. Fly ball to center field, but that's Buxton. So he's probably very likely going to play that ball. That brings up Jimenez. We'll swing away. And he gets a single one to four, but just barely doesn't get it. And that brings up Mazzara. And he's going to swing away. And he grounds out. That brings up Josh Donaldson. For them, for the Twins. And he is going to double, so... It'll be a man on second, leading off the fifth here. Man on second, no outs, and the Twins down by a couple with Cruz up, and Cruz just tied the game. Man. All right, well, let's see. Avila's up. That's a strikeout. Well, it's tied. I mean, you know, we'll see. Rosario is going into the shopping at the gap. And he gets a double, and now Sano is up, and Sano strikes out. And it brings up a race. And he's going to ground out. So, Mendick up at the plate. Tie game. Bottom of the fifth. White Sox up and he's out. Strikes out. Tim Anderson up. One for two on the day. And he is going to line out. Kind of a looping line out. And then Lewis Robert is up. He's going to swing away. And he is grounding the first base. So Byron Buxton up at the plate, striking out to Giolito. And Max Kepler up. And he gets a double one to three single. So luckily that's just a single. Man at first for Minnesota, top of the sixth, one out. Polanco up and Polanco singling. See if we can hold him. I am going to try to throw for him. And he's safe. So I'm still not going to bring the infield in, though. I'm not a big infield in guy. Fly ball center field with the question mark. We'll see if he can advance on it. Probably can, based on where the ball's going. I'm going to stop the lead runner from advancing. So they take the 4 3 lead and then cruises up. So we're only down by a run. That's actually doable. Moncada up, swing away. And that's ground ball C. So one away. And Carnacion up, and I'm going to have him swing away. And he strikes out. And Jose Abreu is going to swing away. And he's hit by pitch. So we got Abreu at first, bottom of the sixth, down by a run, two outs, and Grandall out. And Grandall is going to be out. So that takes us to the top of the seventh with Alex Avila up for the Twins, and he strikes out. And 
And that brings up Eddie Rosario, and he strikes out. And that, oh, yeah. And that brings up Sano with two outs, and he strikes out. So, Giolito pitched seven. Um, we're going to have to start thinking about the possibility of relieving him. But right now, we've got Jimenez up at the plate in the bottom of the seventh. And he hits a home run that ties the game. Thank you very much, Jimenez. So now it's 4-4, and now I don't think I'm going to think about taking Giolito out. Got the fireworks there, yep. And then Mazar is up, and we're going to swing away with him. And he is going to ground out. And that brings up Danny Mendick. And he singles one, and that's not going to happen. That's two away, and that brings up Tim Anderson, and he singles. So Tim Anderson's aboard. Lewis Robert up. Let's let him hit. Fly ball to left, and that's a four. Rosario, could it drop? Yep, it did. So now we got runners at first and second. Two down, Moncada up. They're going to take Barrios out. And they are bringing in who? Is that Romo? I guess it's Romo. It's a single one, but that's not going to happen. So, so we've gotten into the Twins' bullpen at least. And... Uh, And we still got Giolito up there, and I am going to keep him out there because we really don't have the greatest bullpen around. And the game's only tied. So you got Buxton up at the plate. He strikes out. And Max Kepler. And he double one three, and that's going to be a same. I think he was the same guy that did that same thing last time, too. Polanco's up with a man at first, and uh, and two out, and now Polanco walks, so that brings up Donaldson. Now it's getting dangerous here. And he, yes, it is very dangerous because he just doubled. And Polanco might even be able to score on that. We'll have to see. But he didn't. And Giolito is tired. So I should probably go to the bullpen. They got a 5-4 lead. Yeah, I got to go to the bullpen. Uh, and who is up? Let's see. Let me flip to the visitor. Cruz, and he is a righty who's a 3L. <clears throat> I don't know what to do with that. Um, hmm. Even though Cishik is um, traditionally the closer for us, I'm bringing him in right now. And he's going to strike Cruz out and get us out of the inning. So now we're in the bottom of the eighth, but we're losing 5-4, though. We need another probably home run would be nice. But that's a strikeout for now in Canarcion. Abreu's up, swinging away with him, and he strikes out. And then that brings up Grandall. And he's going to walk. And that brings up Jimenez. And he gets a catcher card. And he goes to second, so now Jimenez gets another shot. But they're going to bring in Tyler Rogers. 
and he hits a fly ball to right field, and that's Kepler. So. And that's an out. So we're going to have the ninth to try to figure it out. I'm going to just keep c -Sheck out there. I might as well. I mean, we've definitely got to keep the game this close. Rosario up. And he single ones. And that's not good enough. It's not um, a single. And that brings up Seno. And he grounds out to the pitcher, hopefully. Nope, he won. And he can continue. He's with minor injury, and he can continue. I'm going to let him continue because, like I said, we need to keep this game right here. And it is. We go to the bottom of the ninth now. We're down by a run. Mazzara up. And he is out right between two things. Man. Okay, so. We got Mendick up. And he strikes out. Probably shouldn't have let him hit, but. And now that brings up Tim Anderson. And he gets a single. So that's nice. Now, if we could get a home run by Lewis Robert, we win the game. But no, we get a pop out to first base from Lewis Robert. So that's a game, folks. We lost 5 4 on opening day. We'll go get the box score for you. This is what it looks like. Giolito, seven and two thirds, 11 hits though, and five earned runs. But that is a pretty potent Twins lineup. Um, so, yeah. All right, well, you know what? It was sounding great, but I could have used a little more cowbell. I'm gonna jump right in to the second game of the year might as well because you know these games go quick so play the day there you go you can see the scores and we are manual we're the manual game again and we got keichel on the mound he's gonna have ostadillo catching for the injured garver um, this lineup looks good to me, so yeah, we're set to go, and we're facing Bailey. That might give us a little bit of an in. Let's hope. So Kepler up, leading off the game against uh, Keichel, and he strikes out. That was a heartbreaker, that first loss, that first game loss. Polanco up, and Polanco walks. Donaldson up. C singles. Let's hold him. Let's hold him. Throwing for the lead runner. No. All right, again, I'm not a big infield in guy, so we are just going to pitch to Cruz. And uh, that, yeah, would have cut off the run, but um, still, that's two out. And it's only one nothing. We got a high powered offense. So I'm not that worried about it right now, just yet. As we go to the bottom of the first, losing one nothing with Tim Anderson up. And he hits a double one to five single off of Bailey. Uh, Lewis Robert up. And he hits a double one to 15. No! Oh, it's a fly ball. You gotta be kidding me. Oh God. That's done. Alright, so we got Mancata up and he is going to line out. Uh 
And that brings up Ben Canarcio. And he's going to pop up a second. So Sano is up at the plate. Keichel deals. That's going to be an out. Buxton up. Buxton triple one to five or a single. Thankfully, it was a single. Keichel's a negative six hold. You got to love that. And there's a single one to 14 off the Dillo. Man, this team has got one crazy good offense. Arias is up, and he gets a single one to 16 himself. So that's going to be bases loaded with with one out. So we really need the double. Oh, wait a minute. No, they scored a run. That was a single. Hmm. Line out, Max. So we needed that. We absolutely needed that. But now we're losing 2 nothing. Abreu is up. He's going to swing away. Double one to nine, single, and that's going to be a, just barely going to be a single. I mean, just the rolls just aren't going our way this game. Grand all up. I mean, it wasn't too bad last game, and there's a double play. So two down. And... Uh, That brings up Jimenez, and he's going to swing away. And he doubles one to three, and that's going to be a single. And that brings up Mazzara. And he singles. Single double asterisk. Oh, no, not necessarily. But we are going to send the lead runner. So runners at their corners, Mendick up. And that's a single big hit by Mendick. Makes it two to one. I'm going to hold the runners. 35%. Tim Anderson up. And he strikes out. God. All right. Well, it's two to one. Now, hopefully Keigel can hold them down now. I mean, I understand they've got one crazy good offense. But, you know. And then... Yeah, throws the ball away, so now there's a man on second. This is, I mean, this is really the downfall of the team is the defense. Nelson Cruz, ground ball, shortstop. And that brings up Rosario. And that's a ground ball, shortstop, X to Tim Anderson. And he got it. So, Lewis Robert up, we're down two to one. He swings away, and that's going to be a fly ball to center, but that's a box. Probably going to be an out, and it is. And that brings up Moncada, who swings away. And that's a hit by pitch, so one out, runner aboard. We're down two to one, bottom of the third, with one out. And Canarcion, come on, man. All right, he got a single. Come on, man. Jose Abreu is up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Grandall. And Grandall with a double and knocks in the tying run. Gotta love that. And that brings up Jimenez. And Jimenez strikes out. So we're in a battle here. Keuchel versus Bailey, two to two, top of the fourth. Up steps Sano and strikes out. That brings up Buxton, and he's hit by a pitch. That brings up Boston Dillo. Who hits the ball to shortstop? Please make this play, Anderson. Yep, double play. So Mazzara stepping up, bottom of the fourth, 2 2 game. And he hits a fly ball.
Brings up Mendick with one out, and he's got a single. Same place that he got the other single, too, I think. All right, man aboard, Tim Anderson up, only one out. And he flies out. And up steps Lewis Robert. And he's going to ground ball to third base, but that is, you know, after this foul ball. But that's going to be Donaldson, and that doesn't bode well. So we're still tied to a piece, top of the fifth, Arreyes up against Keichel, flying uh, or uh, grounding out the third base. And brings up Kepler, Kepler striking out. And Polanco is up. And he grounds out. So Moncada is up at the plate. He's going to swing away with him. Ground ball first base. That's Sano, who should be a four. And is. And he's out. Brings up Encarnacion. We'll swing away with him. That's a strikeout. And that brings up... After all the scores roll in, that brings up a brave, and that's going to be a fly ball right field, and that's Kepler. Probably will make the play, but we'll see. No, he can't get it, so Abreu is safe, and that brings up Grandall, and he walks. And now Jimenez, come on, Jimenez! No, he flies out. Flying out, and uh, so that does it in the bottom of the fifth. We're going to the top of the sixth. Still tied it to both starting pitchers, Bailey and Keitel, still out there locked in a death struggle, and he walks Donaldson to lead off the inning. And that brings up Cruz, and Cruz strikes out. That's key right there. Rosario up. And he's going to hit a ground ball to the second that hopefully Mendick will play. And not in time, but hey, at least we got one out um, on the back end of that double play. And Sano is up. And he strikes out. So the rolls are uh, going our way a little bit, at least when the Twins are up. They have been lately. Mazzara is up at the plate. We're going to swing away with him. And that's a home run. That's a home run. Zara, thank you. My man. So we take the lead. Now we'll see if we regret and I'm using C Shack in last game, but Mendick is lining out. Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson's gonna ground out for the second out of the seventh, or no, of the, of the bottom of the sixth. And then we're gonna swing away with Robert and he is going to be out. Okay, now one thing I am going to do is I am going to put Engel in for um, Jimenez in left field um yeah and should i even put garcia in at second no he was terrible at second all right yeah that's about that's about it but we're gonna keep keichel out there until the computer tells me he's tired or until he gives up the tying run which he's coming close to doing with this leadoff double to Buxton. Ostadillo is up and he's going to line out to second. So one out, man at second. 
And that brings up a Reyes. And they're going to pinch hit Adrianza. And he walks. Can't say that was a totally terrible idea. Based on the result, Kepler is up and he strikes out. So now they got two outs and two on. Top of the seven. And a fly ball. And I think, yes, we're winning 3 2. So, and there's Angle. Thank you. Of course, really, that would have been it was just a fly ball. So, Moncada is up at the plate. And he's going to hit a fly to center. That's Buxton probably going to be an out. I mean, that's where the difference between these two teams is. It's in the defense. It's not really the fact that one is that much better pitching or that one is that much better hitting. And Canarcion is up. And he flies out to center. And with two outs in the bottom of the seventh and us leading 3-2, Abreu comes up. We're going to let him swing away. And he grounds out. I am going to go to the bullpen in the top of the eighth, I think. Um, I think. Who we got up? Uh, Donaldson is a righty. Who is a three R? Hmm. I'll bring in Evan Marshall. I mean, we really don't have a lot of good bullpen options. I got to work on this bullpen. Strikeout of Donaldson. Top of the eight. Nelson Cruz up. Home run, one to 12, and he tied the game. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. All right. Rosario's up, and he walks. Sano is up. Sano strikes out. So there's two down. Tie game now and Buxton up, who's two for two. How oh, this guy is two for two. All right, looks like we're out of the inning. So now we're in the bottom of the eighth. Grandall up. He's going to swing away. He walks. They bring in Romo again. Angle is up. Angle strikes out. Mazzara up with only one out. And he hits a double one to 17, and it's a single. Unbelievable. And I have to try to send the runner, so I'm not, because it's only 40%. All right, so Mendick is up, and he walks. So the bases are going to be loaded for Tim Anderson. I can get into that. I think I like that a little bit. And Romo is tired. Yeah, you bet he is. Tim Anderson up, and he strikes out unbelievably. So, yeah, Duffy is out there now, and it's Lewis Robert at the plate, and he's out. And we're going to keep Marshall out there, although not the greatest idea, but ground ball, third base. Adrianza is up and because he came in to pinch hit for Arreyes, and he's going to fly out. And that brings up Kepler. And Kepler flies out. Now we are going to the bottom of the ninth. If we could just win the game here. Home run. 
even a little bit of small ball and knocks the run in. I don't care how we do it. Let's just do it. And did he? He might have done it. He might have won the game for us. Moncada. Home run. We win the game. Thank you. All right. So let's go get that box score. And we're one on one and one on the year, along with the Twins. And uh, Keuchel pitched seven, allowed two earned runs. Marshall pitched two and allowed a, an earned run and a blown save, but he ended up getting the win in the end. And uh, so, yeah. So let's take a look at the uh, standings. Go to league stats. Kansas City, surprisingly, is 2-0. I don't know how that happened, but they're 2-0. Oh, yeah, they're playing Detroit. That's how that happened. So they're 2-0. Minnesota 1-1. One one. Cleveland 1-1. One one. Us 1-1. One one. Up there, you got Baltimore at 2-0. That Baltimore, I don't know. I just don't know. But anyway, uh, and then you got the Mets at 2-0 and, and Milwaukee at 2-0. And uh, let's see what we got down in the West. San Diego and Arizona at 2-0 and, and L.A. at 1-1. One and one. So that's what we got. That's the first two games of the year. The White Sox going 1-1, one and one, losing on opening day, but winning the second game of the year against the Twins. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.